Hello and welcome to Doc Aviv 2021 at the Cinematheque around Tel Aviv and online. My name is Asaf Moore and I'm thrilled to be here with the director of The First Woman, Miguel Eck, which is screening at the Panorama section. The First Woman is available online July 1st to the 10th and in theaters July 4th and 5th. Shalom v'bruchim v'im l'Doc Aviv 2021 b'Cinematheque Tel Aviv, b'Rachvei Tel Aviv v'online. Ani Asaf Moore, ani mitragesh liot kan im abomai shel aisha rishona. מיגל אק, שמוקם במסגרת פנורמה. האישה הראשונה זמין אונליין מהראשון עד העשירי ביולי ובאולמות הסינמטק ברביעי והחמישי ביולי. היי מיגל. Welcome to Doc Aviv, we're pleased to have you with us here and um, very excited to screen uh, the first woman and, um, and to hear a little bit about the process of making this film, um, its first Thank you for this beautiful uh, movie. And um, yeah, maybe we should start, but just tell us a little bit kind of about the process, how you ended up, um, how you found Eva and the story. Okay. Okay, thank you for, for, for inviting me. Thank you for, for selecting the movie. Uh, for me, it's been, it's like a pleasure to screen uh, such a festival like Doc Aviv. Um, well, so the film uh, began like, Four years ago, I just ended my last movie called City of the Dead. It's, it's a movie about death through the workers of a cemetery, the cemetery of Mallorca. And I wanted to do another multi-characters movie, but more uh, focus on, on mental health. health. And um, that's why like, I went to, a, to the psychiatric hospital of Mallorca. And I wanted to know more about, of course, I have a lot of I didn't know so much about it, actually, um, but it was always like a subject that followed me since I was like a child. This question, okay, about what's normal and, and normal. So I just spoke with the director of the institution and um, I, want, I wanted to offer something to the, to the patients, to the users of the psychiatric hospital. Um, just because I, I realized that it was hard to really know people there without maybe creating like a, a, like, um, a, like a painful feeling that, okay, this guy is coming here to watch us or what, what is he looking for? So I decided to offer like a film, um, a documentary filmmaking um, workshop for them. So I spent like four months um making movies we just broke i bring some cameras and we decide to just shoot about different issues that they were interested in love uh, illness um the future and um in this group i met eva she was like the best student of the workshop and um and then i realized that this was not going to be a and again, a multi-characters multi movie as my previous film, but like a main characters movie. So I spoke with her and uh, I mean, I realized that she was someone different of the other uh, users because, um, you know, the psychiatric hospital is a place many times um, hopeless. People are with uh, a lot of medication. Of course, they have their, their, their um, disease. And um, it's like a place where many people stay there for life. And Eva was not like them. She was someone with a clear goal. Um, she wanted to quit this place as soon as possible because she is like a strange uh, success case in the in the sense that now uh, she has schizophrenia but she managed to to like to live quite well and she was just waiting for for go away from there and, and look for his for her child so this is this is how we met this is how the story began and 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 she decided to to accept this invitation to follow her for almost two years. 
Yeah, so that's a long time to to follow um, a character, and and it shows in the movie. You can see the progression of her journey. Um, um, how how did you form your relationship with her? How did you create this trust? It was very hard, very hard because um, one of the I mean one of the things that this uh, illness has schizophrenia is that um, Eva has. Um, hard problems to trust people, even people who are very close to her, like doctors or friends. So, um, I mean, our relation went through different stages. She wanted to make the movie. One month later, she didn't want. Uh, one day she want, another day but she didn't want it. So it was, was quite complicated because um, because I did, I did, I just wanted to follow her and see what happened. I mean, I, I was not with a clear script of what I was looking for in the with her or in this story. So actually, nobody knew when this shooting was going to end, and um, and I really wanted to shoot the um, the everyday life no i was not lo looking for special moments and of course in in her life in the secret hospital as you can see in the movie there are not so many special days and maybe the, the only special days uh, are on the movie her birth her birthday or some some exit of the institution when they will go to the zoo or so um, it was hard almost up until the end of the movie when when we have we had shoot enough material uh, where she could understand what kind of portrait i was doing i mean i think this this movie is not like a um, plot story but but a character's story or a character film and um, it's like how we add different scenes where we we built really like a a movie and um, yeah so this was more or less uh, the situation until the end where like she's like very she trusts uh, and she understand the, the 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 importance of this movie and and what this movie is gonna teach also other users and other people about what uh, schizophrenia means or what are the um, the limits or yeah the, the, the limits in between yeah um there is a particular scene in the in the movie that for me kind of marked almost a a, a little twist or a turn in how i, I was viewing her along this uh, trip and that is the scene where the class comes in to see the the, um, the ceramics uh, workshop and um there was something there for the first time. I felt like you could, for a second, um, experience the outside world looking at her in a way that does not entirely conform with the way she's experiencing her situation. When she walks away for a second, the instructor says, talks about her in like a third person and kind of like in a, this is how the people here are experiencing. And it's a painful scene in a way. And I want to kind of, hear your thoughts, so like kind of how you experienced this scene and your um, decision to to put that scene in the movie and where it is in the movie. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I like that you, you put your interest in this in this moment because yes, it, it, it's, I think it's from the really beginning of this scene that you see, not just from the people from outside, but especially from the, the doctors, the psychologues who are, there who go into the into the classroom and he don't even say hello to her he just enter look to her and say okay put you put you here because you will you will have like a good view of the of the it's it's i mean i mean and of course if you if you remember this scene is next to the scene of the soul uh, I don't know how we say it in English. So uh, the place where you can you go to see animals. So yeah, yeah, in the zoo. Yeah, zoo. Sorry for zoo. Yeah. Yes, so yes. Uh, 
because it's we like it to, to, to compare this this both um this both gazes no the, the fact that eva and the animals both are close in a place where people go there to watch them in a very paternalist um way um Actually, there are. I think this paternalism is it's in all the relations the the the, um, the doctors have with with Eva and with them because Eva, as you can see, is it's it's in a position quite um, good compared with other users of the psychiatric hospital. So uh, so if with her they have this relation, imagine with the people who are in a bad in a in a, in a worse situation. In terms of consciousness and in terms of of independence, so yeah, it's it, it's a quite painful uh, moment, but it's it's unfortunately it's the it's it's a quite reality in this in this hospital, maybe in many hospitals. I think the the psychiatry maybe has not uh, changed as as fast as society and. Um, uh the good luck is that the, the director of this institution is so, someone who really want to change and who want that the psychiatric hospital don't stay as a place for the whole life of these people but a, a place for a moment of this of, of their their lives and in this in this sense eva is been like this it's been a place where she has spent six years but now she's outside and she's continue her life in uh, trying to, 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 to live it as normal as possible. But many of the professionals who work there, work there from, or since maybe 40 years, and their, their, their way of being with, their, with them, um, yeah, it's, it's hard to see. It's not the way we would like to be treated. Uh, because you see that they don't need to be treated as this. I mean, they are um, smart enough to understand many things that it seems that they, they, they don't want to, 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 to see. Mm -hmm. Yes, and another very interesting moment or relationship I wanted to kind of hear your thoughts about are between Eva and her mother. They are very... Uh, powerful scenes where she goes to see her mother who um, cannot really speak. And so again, I feel like it ties into this theme of, of um, prisons, like the animals in the zoo, Eva in the institution and her mother in her um, illness. Um, and their relationship also seems very kind of disconnected because of the, both of their situations. So again, your thoughts on kind of portraying this relationship and how that plays into the movie mm. yeah it's very i think it's very um, i don't know if sad is the word but uh, dramatically uh, in the movie it's it's something sad that eva the only people the only people uh were i mean she, she can she has a relation with her with her friends in the institution but the only one she has outside of the institution is, is her mother and see someone that really can't give her the feedback or the, um, the inputs, maybe she needs also to recover because she has like, um, the mother had, had a paralysis of, of her body. And so she has, um, she has big problems to speak. Uh, so it's like a kind of monologue. So Eva speaks with to her and she has learned to keep a kind of conversation where it's basically Eva who speak and the mother who say yes or no. And, um, and there is a lot of misunderstandings and uh, Eva uh, cannot hear very well either. You, you, I think you can see it in, in the movie that says, what, what? So it's like, she don't have so many people to talk with. I mean, yes, to talk, but not to, to get feedback, not to, to, to really eat change. Um, yeah, uh, this is this is something 
uh, very particular of, 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 of her life. And now, um, uh, now that she's outside of the, of the place, um, she's knowing more people. The, the, the coronavirus situation has not helped her either mm -hmm. in terms of new relations uh because uh she's not uh, she's not um with uh, her boyfriend anymore the relation ended uh, in this uh, covid period or or, or in, at the beginning of the of the pandemic so um, she's quite alone actually yeah she's so i mean she, she called me every week uh now she's calling me like almost every day and we speak a lot and i think i'm one of his of her of her friends but I don't think she has many people to, to, to really change. Yeah. That's really interesting that you um, kept in touch, which um, I mean, it's very natural, but kind of, do you want to talk a little bit about the kind of relationship between um, a director and, um, and a protagonist and a character after the movie is over? Mm -hmm. Wow, it's, um, it's, it's hard because, um, Actually, Eva, Eva and me, we, we are coming from very different lives. Uh, Eva has 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 been has grown in a um, neighborhood uh, with uh, with a lot of economical uh, economic problems, with problems with drugs, with um, uh, with his illness, with uh, and and with a paradigm of life completely different to mine. But we have, uh, there is something like, uh, I don't know, to share for me the fact that I have been shooting her for so many long uh, years. Um, I need to give, give her also something about my, my life. And I have actually, I have been, we have been, been like doing some kind of therapy in, in between. I have speak her a lot about my life my 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 situation right now i have a, i have a five years old uh, baby and uh, she was looking for for her child so we have been talking a lot about um what to be a father is what's the kind of relation we can have with our sons um um well i have to give you a like a good new is that uh, once once I was doing the post production of the movie, Eva called me and told me that uh, Danny, uh, her son, called her. Mm. So now they are in touch. They have seen. They have been uh, physically in contact twice because they live in different towns in Mallorca, not very close. And because of the uh, restrictions of the lockdown, they have not. They didn't have the opportunity to to see to see them uh, so often. And now they have like a more cold relation through WhatsApps and, and phone calls. But of course, this was like a twist outside of the movie, but something very important for her. And uh, she's trying to reconnect after, I don't know, 15 years with someone that is not a, um, a boy anymore. He's, he's like a man, I see he's, he's 20, 20 one years old, he has his uh, girlfriend, his work. So he's like learning to, I mean, she has to learn to, to, uh, to be a mother mm -hmm. uh, without, um, uh, without a child, like without a, a, a old child to, to, to have a new relation. No? And this, we have been in, in touch so much talking about these kind of things, no? what kind of education, what kind of, of um, relation we can have with our sons once they uh, get older and, and they don't need us uh, anymore. Yeah, so the relation is, I mean, uh, and I, I had like bad experience also in, with some characters that was hard to, to, to keep the relation outside of the movie, but in, in, with Eva has been um, quite easy, it's quite easy and, and both we are very excited also because we are waiting uh, the um, the premiere here in Mallorca and this will be in a month so this will be the moment where we can share with our friends family colleagues and she cannot 
actually she can express herself uh, through this movie with many people that uh, know just the the surface of uh, of her life of her past. Mm. Um, I have to say also that Eva has not seen the movie yet. She just watched the trailer. She wanted to the um, she wanted to uh, to do it in the big screens. As I told you, it was it was tricky at, uh, in the beginning. The distrust about okay, what's this movie about? But once I finished it, she was in a point of uh, I think understanding well uh, the movie without seeing it. And she she was like I mean I I I was very happy that when she told me that uh, I don't need to watch the movie before I, I trust you. Uh, I want to see the movie directly in the theater. So we are now very excited preparing this this premiere in Mallorca that will be in, in less than a month in a very nice theater in, in Palma. So yeah, I, I think I'm, we can be very happy both of of having each other now as a friends. Yeah, I'm sure that's going to be a, a, a wonderful moment of kind of, um, of kind of a conclusion and a closure for this uh, process of working together. Um, this idea of like um, an absent presence of um, of her son in the movie um, is very is very poignant and it works very well in this in the story. I wonder if while making the movie, your kind of dream was to actually find this scene of them reconnecting and was there an, any um, 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 uh, attempt by, by you to kind of instigate that? Yeah. Um, well, as you can see in the movie, Eva has not like a um, close relation with technology, with mobile phones or with internet. And she's quite afraid of internet. She's like, she don't trust too much to, to write anything in Google. I mean, actually, I, I think he has not been in in Google or internet so 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 far. And um, and I I tell her, I mean, what kind of research have you done until the moment? And she was, I mean, she heard that Danny was studying in the university, so she went a couple of times to the university. Yes looking around if she could find him there. Um, but she didn't try with his uh, social assistant to, to look, I don't know, in Google, in Facebook. Uh, actually, we did, and we find him in Facebook. Um, but because Eva didn't want it to, I mean, she, she, she she, she didn't want it that we make any kind of research outside of her. And she was like, um, she was afraid that any kind of try of contact by her directly could uh, put in risk the possibility of, of being in touch together. Or, yeah, of, of, of our, uh, yeah, to meet again. So we had this, con this information, we had this contact, but uh, I tried to tell her once that why we don't look in internet. And no, 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 I don't want, I don't want. She didn't want it, nothing connect, uh, relating with internet. So, but a part of that, of course, I mean, since, since we were out, it, since Eva was outside of the institution of the psychiatric hospital and she felt like he's strong enough to look for him, um, I was I was a bit like dreaming, um, no, just to find him, but to show how she was looking for him in a in a such a strange way. Mm -hmm. The fact that she was going to the university because she heard that someone told told her that maybe he was there, but she didn't want it that we should how she was looking for for the son in the university because she was afraid that maybe Danny see her and the fact that some cameras were there could be like uh, something that uh, maybe he was afraid or, or felt that strange or felt bad. 
So she didn't want it that we follow her to university. Um, and yeah, I mean, at the end, uh, when we got, when, when Eva got this, this letter or uh, that Danny wanted to, um, like to, to, actually, I don't know if, if in the movie it's like very clear, but I think because in, in the trial, Eva said, yeah, I, when, when I meet, uh, when I meet Danny, I will tell him blah, blah, blah. But actually Danny want, didn't want it to meet her in, in this moment. It was afterwards when, when, the, um, uh, when she got the text of what she say in this trial, is then when, the, when Danny wanted to contact her again. So we actually, when we finished the movie, we, we were not um, very optimistic in the fact that she could find him in a short period of time. That's why we decided to finish the, 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 the shooting and, uh, and, and leave the movie in this moment. That for me was quite realistic, but because I think what, what really happened to Eva, the fact that Danny contacted her, it's something like uh, amazing, but I think it's not very common or it's not, it was not something predictable that was gonna happen because all the inputs Eva had from him was, I don't want to see you. Yeah, so I think what you just said kind of tied into a question I had about how do you decide it's time to, to end filming after two years? It's such a long process. You could have ended after one year, you could have filmed five. It's, um, how do you personally, how did you decide that this, that this was the, the moment to stop and edit everything into uh, the movie we saw? Hmm. Well, for all, during, during all this period of shooting, um, we start to, to edit at the same time. So we, we had more or less a kind of image of what kind of material and movie we had in our hands. And uh, once I, once, once uh, Eva had this um, letter from Danny, for me was a kind of uh, signal that this was not going in, this was not gonna progress positively um, for Danny or for Eva, sorry. So um, so with, with the material I had, we had like a rough cut and we show the movie to some friends or yeah, people we trust. And we really had the, the, the feeling that, okay, we have portrayed this, this odyssey of, of Eva we shoot with her a couple of months after this letter arrives and nothing happened actually she was just waiting and actually her life a part of this this um this contact of Danny has not changed so much i mean so we just finished we we sh we sent the rough cut to itfa we were we were selected so we had to fit to to decide okay let's make the post-production the movie has to end like here uh and um, and sometimes I wonder if if um, what could what what kind of movie will be if we have the this um, this reconnection of, of Eva and Danny and I think it's strange but I think it's better like this because as you can see in the movie there is a lot of ellipses maybe sometimes the the most important moments are not. Uh, we don't show them to the people, uh, like uh, when she meet uh, her boyfriend, he just appear suddenly. So, or or some kind of news, important news. Yes, uh, you just knew them afterwards. Mm -hmm. So I was I I I, I knew that uh, Eva could not manage to really meet him with cameras in front. I think it was too much for her. And I didn't want it to um, destroy such a beautiful moment just for a movie. Um, and because of the movie ha had been like, uh, uh, yeah, ellipsis, ellipsis. Uh, I thought it was fine like this. And, uh, 
and I think it's 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 a bit more uh, more dark um, end, but I think it's like one more it's like more realistic actually because even 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 I say uh, Danny will want to contact her and they are in contact. Uh, Danny has his own life and he don't want to really be so so in touch with her. I mean, at least Eva has the re has the relief that um, they met and they spoke a bit, but uh, she knows that this relation is not going to be again like a mother and a son. And so it's it's like this. Well, we really enjoyed the movie and, and I enjoyed our conversation. So thank you. And we look forward to your next film and we want to host you here in person in Tel Aviv. Um, so please, um, maybe, fast, maybe quicker than two years for your next one. I have a new one for the next year, so don't problem. I, I will Perfect. send you. <laughs> Perfect. So thank you very much, Miguel. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Saf. It was the same for me. Bye.